Hi, my name is Heather and today we are going shopping at an antique mall. Um, this place I heard was really expensive and that I should just kind of stay away from here because I wouldn't be able to afford uh, anything in here or the people who know that I am reselling said you're not going to make a profit off of anything you buy in there. So yesterday I did come here on my lunch break to do a quick run through and they were right. There, there is a lot of really expensive things in here and it's got a lot of really nice stuff and they have coins and like that kind of thing. They're kind of, um, it says that they're an antique mall, but they also appraise and stuff like that too. So they have some high value things. Um, but I did find a back room that had the kind of things that I am looking for. So I did find some things that I was interested in. I was on my lunch break, so I kind of ran through really quick, but we are back today to see if that stuff is still here. Um, check the price and maybe check the, the comps on some of this stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take a video in here and show you. Um, they were kind of rude to me yesterday when I came in. They didn't greet me when I came in. They didn't say bye to me. Nobody had like approached me and asked me anything. And they were doing it to other customers. So I thought that was a little bit weird. Um, maybe they don't think I belong here. I don't know. We, we'll see uh, how it goes today. But I do plan on buying some things from here as long as I think they are, or I think that what they are is what they are, you know, and then we can make some profit off of it. So. I'm going to do a voiceover because they were already rude to me, so I'm not going to talk in here, but I will show you some of the things and hopefully get some better angles than just the floor this time. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so we're going to head on in here and see how they are. I don't know if they require masks or not, but I do have mine ready to go. So I will see you soon. All right. So walking in, I found this little tea set. It was super cute. It was $49, but one of the pieces was cracked. I would have bought it if it did not have the giant crack. When you first walk into this place, the main open space area in the front of the store has a lot of a lot of nice expensive things. Some of these things range up into the hundreds and thousands of dollars. Um, it was just too much for me and not a good resale price. This little bird I think was 50 or $60. I think it's a Fenton hand-painted bird. This decanter set here was I think a hundred and yeah $145. It was a really pretty set but you can't really make much profit off of selling things that are that high. All of these little figurines were um, in the hundreds, you can see some there for 200 and something. I decided not even to touch that case. Um, this store did have a lot of the Hummel figures. I don't really know too much about them. So I'll have to look that up because some of them were priced at like 75 and then that sign said all of them were, what was it, 38 or something like that. I did find a set um, similar to this one at another place. I think for 10 or $20, it came with one large bowl and little sauce cups to go with it. Here's another of the Noritake sets. I did buy two of these um, that were cheaper. Um, this one was just the bowl and the spoon. And I think it is the same pattern as the plate I bought at the other place you'll see later in the other video. But the bowl and the spoon for this one was $48. The two sets I bought were $14 and $15 on sale. So I'm much happier with the other two that I purchased. Although I do believe this one matches the plate that I bought later on in the day. There's a lot of really nice things here. Um, these salt and pepper shakers I think were $30 or $40 don't know what the brand was so I'm not sure why I didn't inspect it too much a lot of these figurines were anywhere from 60 to 200 and some odd dollars I'm sure they're worth it it just doesn't do anything for me for resale 
Um, I normally skip through anything that's crystal or clear glass. I'm not that interested in that. I keep the things that don't sell, so I try to buy things that interest me. These little boy and girl figurines were $17, and they had two of them. I did not inspect them, though. These tiny Swarovski, I don't know if that's how you say it, crystals, they were $20. I don't know what those sell for either, so it's probably what they, what they sell for. A lot of Murano glass, some of it is real, some of it is not. I do believe these clowns were actually Murano. A lot of paperweights. Um, some of them were Murano, some of them were not. I keep finding these cow creamers, but they're listed. I mean, they're, they're selling for the price that they sell for, so I would not make a profit off of them. One day I will find one, though, that I can make a profit off of. This apparently was another case I was afraid to touch. There's another one of the Nortaki bowls down there. Um, this is now in the back room where the less expensive things are. Still some pretty expensive things. That big cat was $95. I thought this was kind of interesting. It said Czech Art Deco Bead. And it was a light bulb cover. Kind of different. I've never seen one of those before. This set was very, very blue. Um, but it was all priced individually and it was pretty expensive. Um, here I thought <laughs> I thought somebody had left their keys, um, but it turns out they were selling those keys. I suspected that this was Linux and I turned it over to look and it was not. It was a fake Linux. This bowl set was kind of interesting. It was $35 for the set. It said Global View or something like that. Sometimes I look at the tag so I can look it up later and make a decision. I thought the squirrel was cute, but it did not have a price on it. So I left him behind. He did have a sticker. I'm pretty sure it said Japan on the bottom. I think they had that listed as Murano too and it, it was not. I found this little polar bear up here and I was shocked at his nose. <laughs> It was a satin glass flamingo. I always check the bottoms to see how they're finished. This was a little basket. The bottom was very dull and the detail inside kind of looked like stickers inside the glass. It didn't look very nice. Found a mother of pearl serving spoon for $15. There were people standing behind me, and I didn't want to make them uncomfortable. The dog was cute. I don't remember how much he was. Obviously too much for me, though. A little bird dish. Some InSync dolls, if you're interested. This is a John Perry sculpture. I actually have a very small one that I had listed that nobody seemed to be very interested in. Um, I think mine was from, like, 1979. I thought this bowl was cute. I'm in a art glass uh, group on Facebook and I remember people posting these, but I cannot remember who they said the designer was of those. And I don't know how well they sell for. My basket.
So this booth right here is actually the one that I like the most. They have a lot of Tupperware, a lot of Pyrex. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I'm interested in for myself. Um, there's not a lot of resale value in Tupperware. People don't really buy it, but I love Tupperware. I have um, quite a collection of Tupperware, and I use it every day. It's made to last, and it will last you forever. What is it? I don't know. I didn't show you. I'm sorry. I think it had strawberries on it. So they have a lot of Disney things in here, a lot of salt and pepper shakers, a lot of stuff with mushrooms on it. These I don't think were vintage at all. A lot of cookie jars. I really liked this tray and I almost bought it. It was $35 and it came with a handle. It said it was a nut dish or a candy dish. And I looked at it a few times and I went to grab it again to put it in my cart and realized it had a chip. Um, they have a lot of salt and pepper shakers, a lot of really cute ones, but they're all listed or they're all priced at about $15, which is a little bit more than what I would list them for. So it didn't really work for me. I like this chip and dip set. I didn't really show it to you, but it had diamonds on it. Pink and purple, that one there. It's cute. I like it a lot. One day I will buy one for myself. This was like a little vase or planter. And they wanted $22.95. Some mushroom trivets. Here's the dish again. Um, Canadian drip glaze candy dish with handle for $25. And I almost bought it, but right there by the handle, it had some chips on it. I really liked this too, and I think they wanted $35 for this. It looks like an eye, and I think it said it was Italy. An owl with some jeweled eyes. I liked the color of these cups. They were kind of pastel pearlescent. Some art glass and some green giant. And that was it for here. Hello, so it is now the next night um, from when the beginning of these videos when I was shopping. And uh, a lot of things have happened. I was busy um, to finish the videos yesterday. So here we are today. I have all of the stuff from both of the places and we're going to go through and see everything that I got and show you and how much I paid at each place and what I'm hoping to sell all of these things for. So um, in the listings that I have so far in my Etsy, so Etsy shop, um, I think I have somewhere maybe 20 something things listed right now. And um, two have sold in the past two days, so that's good. <laughs> not really the momentum I was hoping for, but it's a good start and we'll take it. All right, so the first store that I went to was the antique store where they were a little snooty. That's okay. Um, so I did spend a lot of time in there. I got there at about 10.30 in the morning and I left there around 2, around 1.30. I think it was like 1.30 when I left. Um, and I spent $87, $88, something like that. Um, 
So I'm going to show you now. Um, everything is still wrapped. I have not cleaned anything or anything like that yet. So still, still a little dirty possibly. So the first thing that I found was this Noritake bowl here. Um, it has feet. It comes with the saucer. The saucer is not marked, but they look very similar. So I'm, I'm sure that they go together. So this bowl goes on top. And then we have the little spoon that goes along with it. This has a leaf pattern inside and it is marked um, Noritake hand painted, focus, hand painted spoon. And it is a, so it's listed as a whipped cream or mayonnaise set. So the original price that they had on this was $29. I don't know if my phone is focusing. I'm sorry, I'm on my phone. Um, so the original price they had on it was $29 and then it was on sale for $15. Um, it is in good condition. There's no chips or cracks or bricks, nothing. So it is super cute. And it is luster wear around um, the rim. The orange color is luster. So there we have, oh, let's see. You can see inside the bowl has some pretty hand painted flowers. Um, so I'm hoping to sell this set for 30 Hopefully, thirty dollars is my my plan for that one. Um, the next one, this was in the the same case as the first one um, from the same seller. I lost my other. There it is. All right, so this one is also listed as a Noritak. Well, actually, this one was listed as Nippon. Um, on the bottom of the bowl, however, it does have the, the Noritake mark. It is missing the Noritake, but it does have the M. Um, they had this one also priced at 25 and then on sale for 14 This one has a really pretty gold pattern around it, and the bowl itself is actually like, that's the tag. Um, ruffled instead of just circular and this one is quite bigger than the other one much bigger in size this one fits inside of this one and then the spoon that they had along with this one does have a gold pattern inside it looks to be like some kind of rose pattern but this one is marked as hand-painted Nippon. So they are not a matching set, but they still look nice together. I think they match pretty well. So this one was $14 and I'm hoping to get somewhere around probably the same, 28, 30, $30 or so for this set as well. So I got those two. So already I'm at about $30. Um, just in those two bowl sets and then the next thing i found was this vase so this one is marked on the bottom um m mpc which is mccoy pottery it is number 17 1968 usa is what it's marked on the bottom probably not gonna be able to see that because it's kind of a faint imprint and the pattern on this is called Starburst. And they did do this in multiple colors that I saw. Um, it's really it's really nice, actually. It has a lot of, um, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, there you go. Uh, crazing marks on it. But there is no other damage other than the crazing, which is to be expected, especially from 1968. Um, so this one was $12.50. They are going for about 
20 to 40 depending. Um, the ones that were selling for more were the longer bowl shaped, shorter bowls, um, rather than the actual vase. But I didn't see a lot of the actual vases listed, so that might be good for me. And I did see multiple colors, so I do have the white. So that was a good find. The next thing that I found was this really pretty beaded handbag. And it does have it's seed, seed beads, and it does have like a flowery flower design on it. And then the handle here is mother of pearl across the snap. It pops open and then it's lined inside. The lining is not that great. And it smells like old uh, pressed powder, like old makeup compacts, if you know what that smells like. It's, it smells like a grandma <laughs> inside. Um, but it is um, it says bags by Debbie made in Japan. And it snaps back together. Oh, and I paid $18 for this. And it is really heavy. Um, but this is the back. There's no beads missing. There's really no loose strings. I did see one slightly loose bead up at the front. But other than that, it's, it's very pretty. This would be good for Christmas or New Year's. It doesn't have any straps or anything, so you would have to carry it. But I feel like it's a pretty good size. And it's a... It's pretty heavy for a little handbag. So I like that. I'll be happy to keep that if it doesn't sell. So I'm fine. <laughs> um, so I'm fine with that. And then the last thing that I bought from there was, let's see if we can get it all untangled real quick. This little elephant. And it is marked Japan on the foot. Japan, there we go. And along with it comes six. Six little babies on a chain. So the babies do move except for the one here at the end. Um, so you can kind of maneuver it around however you want. The whole thing is in really good condition except for one of the babies had this one. This baby had his front leg repaired. So it looks like his leg fell off and then they put it back on. But there's still five other babies that are in really good condition. So I don't think that's, that's that big of an issue. So here's the mama. Trunk up. Good luck, right? Pretty sure that's what that means. She's pretty. And then the little babies here. Each one looks exactly the same for the one with the uh, broken little foot. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so this one I paid $16 for. And I saw, I didn't see this exact one, but I have seen them listed with this many babies from 20 to 40. So I guess it depends on the buyer. I think I'm gonna list it somewhere around 35. And again, happy to keep this if it doesn't sell because it is super cute. Super, super cute. All right, so that is, I don't know where my receipt went for this store, but I'm pretty sure that it was somewhere around 80. Not too bad. Um, so the purse I'm expecting to list for probably 35. The vase I am probably going to list about 35. I seen one listed for 40 on Etsy, 45 on Etsy. So I might list it for like 35, somewhere around there. But the one on there was a different color. The Nippon and Noritake bowls, I'm probably gonna list for 25 30 per set and what was the other thing i can't even remember oh the elephant the elephant <laughs> i'm probably going to list for 
30? Probably 30. So I should at least double my money on everything that I got. So that's that's good. And, you know, it's just me here, you know? So I don't have any people to pay or anything like that. My daughter helps me out with listing and taking pictures and keeping track of everything. And in return, I buy her stuff. So it works out. So let me know what you thought. What is your favorite item that I picked up? Um, is there anything in the videos that you saw? Oh, the video. Um, that little tea set with the girl heads in the very beginning. Oh my god, it's so cute. It was $49 and I would have bought it, but one of the pieces was broken. I think it was one of the cups. I think one of the cups had a big crack down the side, but it was so cute. So cute. And then the mushroom set and all those salt and pepper shakers. I just wanted too much for them. I, I wouldn't be able to make a profit off of it. So um, they did say that they get a lot of inventory every month. So I'm going to be going back there again and I'll try to get a better video than I did this time at that place. But I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Um, there was another booth that was 50% off and uh, I didn't go in there because they there were two people in it and they were trying to restock their booth and they were there like the whole time I was there. So they have this giant owl statue and it's like massive. It's so pretty. And if that thing is still there and it's 50% off, I'm probably going to buy it. I think it was like $100. So $50 for that, it would be good to put outside, I think, by the front door or something. As long as no hurricanes come. Maybe. Let me think about it. I'll show you the next time I go. It'll probably be next week. So stay tuned. Let me know what your favorite item was. Make sure that you subscribe. My shop is listed down below in the description. And I'm also going to list my, uh, list my Instagram so you can follow me on there because I started... Um, I started posting some stuff on there. I don't have a lot of followers or anything yet because I'm just getting back into all of this. So if you'd like to follow me, that would be great. I'll see you soon.